I am Dr. A.K. Pansolia from Indore and uh, mainly involved in the preventive cardiology. As you know, uh, diabetes is high, there is high prevalence of diabetes in India and it is on the rise. And diabetes, my topic is actually related to heart failure uh, burden because of the diabetes in our country and uh, globally also. The overall prevalence of heart failure in diabetes is around 9 to 22 percent in the different uh, studies and it is on the rise because the diabetes, diabetic patients are on the rise in India and diabetes, uncontrolled diabetes is also very common in our country and leading to more complications for example heart failure. There are several mechanisms which are responsible for development of heart failure in diabetes, inflammation, oxidative stress, increased AGI, increased calcium handling and so on and that leads to problem. The drugs which have been used in diabetes control like sulfonylurea, the glitazones as well as uh, DP4 inhibitors, they have their action through in insulin mediated action and that is responsible for more sodium retention and leading to heart failure subsequently. But now for last couple of years we have come out with the new molecule the SGLT2 inhibitor which has a negative impact on that, the inhibition of the NHG3, reduction in the sodium, uh, sodium absorption and that the less propensity for the fluid retention and ultimately heart failure. Apart from that, they have several other mechanisms of uh, beneficial effects of uh, SGLT2 inhibitor in heart failure patients. And when it was tested for its cardiovascular safety, which has been already recommended by the US FDA, that all the drugs to be gone to be undergone cardiovascular safety before launch. So surprisingly, we come out to the cardiovascular benefit with the SGLT2 inhibitor, particularly in heart failure hospitalization. And the initial trials in diabetic patients clearly showed a substantial reduction in heart failure hospitalization by more than 30 percent. Later on, it has been tested in chronic heart failure, chronic heart failure patient, non-diabetic or diabetic, and that also showed a substantial reduction in the heart failure hospitalization. For example, DAPA's HF trial that is dedicated patient with high FRAP patients, diabetes or no diabetes. And similarly, Emperor reduced trial that also showed the benefit. After this benefit, then it has been tried in the patients with heart failure with preserved ejection fraction and we have a couple of trials with both with the dapagliflozin and the empagliflozin which showed a substantial reduction in the primary outcome in patients with HAP-PEP. So it is effective in not only HAP-RAP but HAP-PEP patient. So my advice or my recommendation to the, all, the, all the doctors who are working in the rural area or in the urban area to have a better control of diabetes in these patients and when the patient, there is a risk for heart failure, heart failure or atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease impending to responsible for the heart failure, it is better to use SGLT2 inhibitor as the first choice even before metformin or even after metformin. The first drug, first drug of choice is SGLT2 inhibitor which showed a substantial reduction in the heart failure hospitalization and not only in HAP-RAP patients, but also in HAP-PEP patients.